Hey everyone, welcome to NCRT audiobook, The P-Block Elements. The variation in properties of the P-Block elements due to the influence of D and F electrons in the inner core of the heavier elements makes their chemistry interesting. In P-Block elements, the last electron enters the outermost P orbital. As we know that the number of P orbitals is 3 and therefore the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in a set of P orbitals is 6. Consequently, there are six groups of p-block elements in the periodic table numbering from 13 to 18. Boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and fluorine and helium head the groups. Their valence shell electronic configuration is ns to np126 except for helium. The inner core of the electronic configuration may however differ. The difference in inner core of elements greatly influences their physical properties such as atomic and anic radii, ionization enthalpy, etc., as well as chemical properties. Consequently, a lot of variation in properties of elements in a group of P block is observed. The maximum oxidation state shown by a P block element is equal to the total number of valence electrons, that is, the sum of the S and P electrons. Clearly, the number of possible oxidation state increases towards the right of the periodic table. In addition to this so-called group oxidation state, P-block elements may show other oxidation states which normally but not necessarily differ from the total number of valence electrons by unit of 2. The important oxidation states exhibited by P-block elements are shown in table 11.1. .1. In boron, carbon and nitrogen families, the group oxidation state is the most stable state for the lighter elements in the group. However, the oxidation state 2 unit less than the group oxidation state becomes progressively more stable for the heavier elements in each group. The occurrence of oxidation states 2 unit less than the group oxidation states are sometimes attributed to the inert pair effect. The relative stabilities of these two oxidation states, group oxidation state and two unit less than the group oxidation state may vary from group to group and will be discussed at appropriate places. It is interesting to note that the non-metals and metalloids exist only in the p-block of the periodic table. The non-metallic character of elements decreases down the group. In fact, the heaviest element in each p-block group is the most metallic in nature. This change from non-metallic to metallic character brings diversity in the chemistry of these elements depending on the group to which they belong. In general, non-metals have higher ionization enthalpies and higher electronegativities than the metals. Hence, in contrast to metals which readily form cations, non-metals readily form anions. The compounds formed by highly reactive non-metals with highly reactive metals are generally ionic because of large differences in their electronegativities. On the other hand, compounds formed between two non-metals themselves are largely covalent in character because of small differences in their electronegativities. The change of non-metallic to metallic character can be best illustrated by the nature of oxides they form. The non-metal oxides are acidic or neutral whereas metal oxides are basic in nature. The first member of P-block differs from the remaining members of their corresponding group in two major respects. First is the size and all other properties which depend on size. Thus, the lightest P-block elements show the same kind of differences as the lightest S-block elements, lithium and beryllium. The second important difference which applies only to the P-block elements arises from the effect of d orbitals in the valence shell of heavier elements starting from the third period onwards and their lack in second period elements. The second period elements of P groups starting from boron are restricted to a maximum covalence of 4 using 2s and 3 2p orbitals. In contrast, the third period elements of P groups with the electronic configuration 3s to 3pn have the vacant 3d orbitals lying between the 3p and the 4s levels of energy. Using these d orbitals, the third period elements can expand their covalence above 4. For example, while boron forms only BF4 minus, aluminium gives LF63 minus ion. The presence of these d orbitals influences the chemistry of the heavier elements in a number of other ways. The combined effect of size and availability of d orbitals considerably influences the 
ability of these elements to form pi bonds. The first member of a group differs from the heavier members in its ability to form p pi p pi multiple bonds to itself. Example c double bond c, c triple bond c, and triple bond n, and to other second row elements. Example c double bond o, c double bond n, c double triple bond n, and double bond o. This type of pi bonding is not particularly strong for the heavier p block elements. The heavier elements do form pi bonds, but this involves d orbitals, d pi p pi or d pi d pi. As the d orbitals suffer higher energy than the p orbitals, they contribute less to the overall stability of molecules than does p pi p pi bonding of the second row elements. However, the coordination number in a species of heavier elements may be higher. Than for the first element in the same oxidation state. For example, in plus five oxidation state, both n and p form oxoanions. NO three minus three coordination with pi bond involving one nitrogen p orbital and PO four three minus four coordination involving s p and d orbitals contributing to the pi bond. In this unit, we will study the chemistry of group thirteen and fourteen elements of the periodic table. Eleven point one group thirteen elements the boron family. This group elements show a wide variation in properties. Boron is a typical non-metal. Aluminium is a metal but shows many chemical similarities to boron. And gallium, indium, and thallium and neonium are almost exclusively metallic in character. Boron is a fairly rare element. Mainly occurs as ortho boric acid S three BO three borax N two B four O seven ten H two O. And carnite Na two B four O seven four H two O. In India, borax occurs in Puga Valley, Ladakh, and Samwar Lake, Rajasthan. The abundance of boron in earth crust is less than zero point zero 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 one percent by mass. There are two isotopic forms of boron: B ten nineteen percent and B eleven eighty one percent. Aluminium is the most abundant metal and the third most abundant element in the earth's crust. Eight point three percent by mass after oxygen forty five point five percent and silicon twenty seven point seven percent. Bauxite L two three dot twice H two O and cryolite N three L F six are the important minerals of aluminium. In India, it is found as mica in Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Odisha, and Jammu. Gallium, indium, and thallium are less abundant elements in nature. Neonium has symbol N H atomic number one one three. Atomic mass two eight six gram per mole and electronic configuration R N five F fourteen six D ten seven S two seven P two. So far, it has been prepared in a small amount and half life of its most stable isotope is twenty seconds. Due to these reasons, its chemistry has not been established. Neonium is a synthetically prepared radioactive element. Here, atomic, physical, and chemical properties of elements of this group leaving neonium. Are discussed below. Electronic configuration. The outer electronic configuration of these elements is ns to np one. A close look at the electronic configuration suggests that while boron and aluminium have noble gas core, gallium and indium have noble gas plus ten d electrons, and thallium has noble gas plus fourteen f electrons plus ten d electron cores. Thus, the electronic structures of these elements are more complex. Than for the first two groups of elements discussed in Unit Ten, this difference in electronic structures affects the other properties and consequently the chemistry of all the elements of this group. Eleven point one point two atomic radii. On moving down the group for each successive member, one extra shell of electrons is added, and therefore atomic radius is expected to increase. However, a deviation can be seen. Atomic radius of gallium is less than that of aluminium. This can be understood from the variation in the inner core of electronic configuration. The presence of additional 10d electrons offer only poor screening effect for the outer electrons from the increased nuclear charge in gallium. Consequently, the atomic radius of gallium 135 picometer is less than that of aluminium 143 picometer. 11.1.3 ionization enthalpy The ionization enthalpy values, as expected from the general trends, do not decrease smoothly down the group. The decrease from boron to aluminium is associated with increase in size. The observed discontinuity in the ionization enthalpy values between aluminium and gallium 
and between indium and thallium are due to inability of D and F electrons which have low skinning effect to compensate the increase in nuclear charge. The order of ionization in thalpies as expected is delta H1 less than delta H2 less than delta H3. The sum of the first three ionization enthalpies of each of the elements is very high. Effect of this will be apparent when you study their chemical properties. 11.1.4 Electronegativity Down the group, electronegativity first decreases from boron to aluminium and then increases marginally. This is because of the discrepancies in atomic size of the elements. Physical properties Boron is non-metallic in nature. It is extremely hard and black-colored solid. It exists in many allotropic forms. Due to very strong crystalline lattice, boron has unusually high melting point. Rest of the members are soft metals with low melting point and high electrical conductivity. It is worthwhile to note that gallium with unusually low melting point 303 Kelvin could exist in liquid state during summer. Its high boiling point 2676 Kelvin makes it a useful material for measuring high temperatures. Density of the elements increases down the group from boron to thallium. Chemical properties, oxidation state and trends in chemical reactivity. Due to small size of boron, the sum of its first three anion enthalpies is very high. This prevents it to form plus three ions and forces it to form only covalent compounds. But as we move from the boron to aluminium, the sum of the first three anion enthalpies of aluminium considerably decreases and is therefore able to form Al3 plus ions. In fact, aluminium is a highly electropositive metal. However, down the group, due to poor shielding effect of intervening D and F orbitals, the increased effective nuclear charge holds NS electrons tightly responsible for inert pair effect and thereby restricting their participation in bonding. As a result of this, only P orbital electron may be involved in bonding. In fact, in gallium, indium and thallium, both plus 1 and plus 3 oxidation states are observed. The relative stability of plus 1 oxidation state progressively increases for heavier elements aluminium, greater than aluminium, gallium, indium and thallium. It increases for heavier elements. In thallium, plus 1 oxidation state is predominant, whereas the plus 3 oxidation state is highly oxidizing in character. The compounds in plus 1 oxidation state as expected for energy consideration are more anic than those in plus 3 oxidation state. In trivalent state, the number of electrons around the central atom in a molecule of the compounds of these elements, example boron in BF3, will be only 6. Such electron deficient molecules have tendency to accept a pair of electrons to achieve a stable electronic configuration and thus behave as Lewis acids. The tendency to behave as Lewis acid decreases with the increase in the size down the group. BCl3 easily accepts a lone pair of electrons from ammonia to form BCl3.NH3. AlCl3 achieves stability by forming a dimer. In trivalent state, most of the compounds being covalent are hydrolyzed in water. For example, the trichlorides on hydrolysis in water form tetrahedral species. The hybridization state of element M is sp3. Aluminium chloride in acidified aqueous solution forms octahedral ion. In this complex ion, the 3D orbitals of aluminium are involved and the hybridization state of aluminium is sp3d2. Reactivity towards air. Boron is unreactive in crystalline form. Aluminium forms a very thin oxide layer on the surface which protects the metal from further attack. Amorphous boron and aluminium metal on heating in air form B2O3 and L2O3 respectively. With the dinitrogen at high temperature, they form nitrites. The nature of these oxides varies down the group. Boron trioxide is acidic and reacts with basic metallic oxides forming metal borates. Aluminium and gallium oxides are amphoteric and those of indium and thallium are basic in their properties. 2. Reactivity towards acids and alkalis Boron does not react with acids and alkalis even at moderate temperature, but aluminium dissolves in mineral acids and aqueous alkalis and thus shows amphoteric character. Aluminium dissolves in dilute HCl and liberates dihydrogen. However, concentrated nitric acid renders aluminium passive by forming a protective oxide layer on the surface. Aluminium also reacts with aqueous alkali and liberates dihydrogen.
the activity towards halogens these elements react with halogens to form trihalides except Gl i3 11.2 important trends and anomalous properties of boron certain important trends can be observed in the chemical behavior of group 13 elements the trichlorides bromides and iodides of all these elements being <coughs> covalent in nature are hydrolyzed in water a species like tetrahedral MOH4- and octahedral mh 2 whole 6 3 plus except in boron exist in aqueous medium. The monomeric trihalides being electron deficient are a strong Lewis acids. Boron trifluoride easily reacts with Lewis bases such as NH3 to complete octet around boron. It is due to the absence of d orbitals that the maximum covalence of boron is 4. Since uh, the d orbitals are available with aluminium and other elements, the maximum covalence can be expected beyond 4. Most of the other metal halides, AlCl3, are dimerized through halogen breezing, example Al2Cl6. The metal species completes its octet by accepting electrons from halogen in these halogen breezed molecules. 11.3 Some important compounds of boron. Some useful compounds of boron are borax, orthoboric acid, and diboran. We will briefly study their chemistry. 11.3.1 Borax It is the most important compound of boron. It is a white crystalline solid of formula Na2B4O7 dot 10 H2O. In fact, it contains the tetranuclear units B4O5 OH whole 4 2 minus and correct formula therefore is Na2 inside bracket B4O5 OH whole 4 dot 8 H2O. Borax dissolves in water to give an alkaline solution. On heating, borax first loses water molecules and swells up. On further heating, it turns into a transparent liquid which solidifies into glass-like material known as borax bead. The metaborates of many transition metals have characteristic colors and therefore borax bead test can be used to identify them in the laboratory. For example, when borax is heated in a Bunsen burner flame with COO on a loop of platinum wire, a blue-colored COBO2 hole to bead is formed. 11.3.2 Orthoboric Acid Orthoboric Acid S3BO3 is a white crystalline solid with soapy touch. It is sparingly soluble in water but highly soluble in hot water. It can be prepared by acidifying an aqua solution of borax. Na2B407 plus twice HCl plus 5 H2O gives twice NaCl plus 4 B s 3 bo 3 It is also formed by the hydrolysis Reaction with water to dilute acid of most boron compounds, halides, hydrides, etc. It has a layer structure in which planar BO3 units are joined by hydrogen bonds as shown in figure 11.1. Boric acid is a weak monobasic acid. It is not a protonic acid but acts as a Lewis acid by accepting electrons from a hydroxyl ion. On heating, orthoboric acid above 370 Kelvin forms metaboric acid HBO2 which on further heating yields boric oxide B2O3. Diboran B2S6 The simplest boron hydride known is diboran. It is prepared by treating boron trifluoride with LiLH4 in diethyl ether. A convenient laboratory method for the preparation of diboran involves the oxidation of sodium borohydride with iodine. Diboran is produced on an industrial scale by the reaction of BF3 with sodium hydride. Diborin is a colorless, highly toxic gas with a boiling point of 180 Kelvin. Diborin catches fire spontaneously upon exposure to air. It burns in oxygen, releasing an enormous amount of energy. Most of the higher borins are also spontaneously flammable in air. Borins are readily hydrolyzed by water to give boric acid. Diborin undergoes cleavage reactions with Lewis bases to give boron adducts. The action of ammonia with diboran gives initially B2S6.2 NH3 which is formulated at BH2 NH3 whole 2 plus BH4 minus. Further heating gives borazine B3 N3 S6 known as inorganic benzene in view of its ring structure with alternate BH and NH groups. The structure of diboran is shown in figure 11.2a. The four terminal hydrogen atoms and the two boron atoms lie in one plane. Above and below this plane, there are two bridging hydrogen atoms. The four terminal BH bonds are regular two-centered two-electron bonds, while the two bridge BHB bonds are different and can be considered and can be described in terms of three 
center two electron bonds shown in figure 11.2 b boron also forms a series of hydrido borates the most important one is the tetrahedral bh4 minus ion tetrahedral borates of several metals are known lithium and sodium tetrahedral borates also known as borohydrides are prepared by the reaction of metal hydrides with b2s6 in diethyl ether both LiBH4 and NaBH4 are used as reducing agents in organic synthesis. They are useful as starting materials for preparing other metal borohydrides. 11.4 Uses of boron and aluminium and their compounds Boron being extremely hard refractive solid of high melting point, low density and very low electrical conductivity finds many applications. Boron fibers are used in making bulletproof vest and light composite material for aircraft. The boron-10, B-10 isotope has high ability to absorb neutrons and therefore metal borides are used in nuclear industry as protective shields and control rods. The main industrial application of borax and boric acid is in the manufacture of heat-resistant glasses, example pyrex, glass wool and fiberglass. Borax is also used as a flux for soldering metals for heat, scratch and stain-resistant glazed coating to earthenware's and as constituent of medicinal soaps, an aqueous solution of orthoboric acid is generally used as a mild antiseptic. Aluminium is a bright silvery white metal with high tensile strength. It has a high electrical and thermal conductivity. On a weight-to-weight -weight basis, the electrical conductivity of aluminium is twice that of copper. Aluminium is used extensively in industry and everyday life. It forms alloys with copper, manganese, magnesium, silicon and zinc. Aluminium and its alloys can be given shapes of pipe, tubes, rods, wires, plates or foils and therefore find uses in packing, utensil making, construction, aeroplane and transportation industry. The use of aluminium and its compound for domestic purposes is now reduced considerably because of their toxic nature. That's all for today. We will see carbon family in the next video. Thanks.